and we are back to continue the journey back to the Van Neltia. Oh! Look! It's the Book of Enominot! What's it doing there? Wait! That's one of Arthur's! Oh, Actually, oh it's a copy that Lafayette made. Lafay made a copy of the book. He transcribed it all by hand, and then he sold it, just to buy me that comb. There was something here for us after all. Lafay. If that's the complete manuscript, we might be able to unravel Enominat's secrets. We'll have to show it to Grimoire. <laughs> Pulling one over on the old man, are you? Never a dull moment with Lady Calamity around. That's cool. Uh, so we're going to go and can I teleport? All right. Time to drop off the pups and get Grimoire to translate this book. We're going back to Titania. Just return. That horned monster. He was with Melchior. There was something different about him. He wasn't a Moloch, though, right? <sighs> yeah. I'm pretty sure he's a demon. But why would the Abbey be working with a demon? He could be a Therian, maybe. I mean, there was Medissa and Kamalana. No, I don't think so. The Abbey keeps their Therians behind barriers and bound to Earth Pulse points. A Therian can't send malevolence to Enominot while walking freely. That's correct. And besides, Orthrus was already here. In any case, now we know Melchior has a mean-looking bodyguard in addition to his illusions. It'll take quite a lot to stop him. Aye. That's a fact. I have this feeling that that is actually Calvary. Because that would make... I mean, well, one, Isaac was just like... Did, you know, Isaac kind of freaked out when he first saw it. So I'm thinking maybe that was why they helped Alfred all this time. Eleanor, there's to something I have turn to him ask. Into a demon. What is it? Did you leak our plans to the Abbey? <sighs> Eleanor hasn't done anything like that. Then how do you explain Melchior and his illusions already waiting for us when we got to a ball? I promised you that I would work together with you until I found the truth for myself. I'm not up to any tricks. It's far too late for that now. Exactly what a guilty party would say. If anyone's suspicious here, I'd say it's you, Magilu. No tricks. <laughs> I don't even know what a trick is. <sighs> Enough. If Eleanor was leaking information, then Titania would surely be under attack by now. Right. I'm sure the Abbey would love to have those Therians back. But the enemy was in that village waiting in ambush. The Abbey isn't foolish. They figured out by now that we're rounding up the Therians. They'll have left traps for us with each remaining one. It's the obvious move. All right. If that's how you see it, I'll stand down. So you trust me then? No. I'm saying that anything the Abbey tries, I'll be ready for it. <sighs> oh, such a brave, determined soul. Oh, 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 asshole, whoops. Code. 
done with yours? Sounds like a fucking Pokemon. Listen, Eleanor really isn't spying on us. I was with her almost every minute, and when I wasn't, Velvet was watching her. And she's a woman who keeps her promises. She wouldn't lie to... Luffy said. We understand, Luffy said. It's Eleanor. If she were lying to herself to somehow keep spying on us, the guild would fill her with malevolence. I see. You're right. The fact that I haven't turned into a dragon proves that. Thank you. Both of you. I didn't think you were giving them information intentionally. But there are illusionists like Melchior out there. That means we can't rule out someone recording your thoughts in secret. I don't think we need to worry about that either. Not with you and Lafayette always near. <sighs> now that that's settled, it's time for you all to testify to my innocence. That could be difficult. What? Well, okay. Why don't you start off by telling us all about the time you sold us out to Teresa back in Helleviz? Oh, why bring up that old yam? You're a very vindictive man, do you know that? You're just figuring that out? <laughs> well, there's your proof, at least. You wouldn't make much of a spy. <laughs> she really wouldn't. Hey, that's not what I meant! You were mean! <laughs> <laughs> Gotta go by the shop, get more life bottles. A lot of blood breakers. Eleanor, does the Abbey possess an art that can control demons? Not that I've ever heard of. Besides, if they could control demons, there'd be no need to resurrect Enominot, would there? Can't argue with that. But Melchior was obviously in control of that demon. How did he manage that? You can't tether them like a Moloch, and Melchior wasn't using oaths or mana to compel him. No, this was something more like mind control. Mind control? Let's say you know your target's innermost desires. You simply conjure the right illusion. Show them what would push their buttons in just the right way. Ah, if you can create an illusion of something someone really wants, you can control them. Exactly. 
You can force a powerful burden upon your target's psyche. Until their spirit breaks, that is. What happens when they break? Depends on the target. They might become an empty shell, they might go wild with desire. Eeny teeny spiny crow. You sure know a lot about this. Now that you put it that way, why would I know so much about it? <gasps> what if someone is controlling me, making me say these very words? How horrifying! I believe I'll take your words with a grain of salt. Welcome back. Yeah, we're bringing these two back to Titania. Dogs? Look, lizards, no problem. Walking hunks of armor I can deal with, but dogs on my ship? You're not a dog person. I was, uh, bit by one when I was a kid. Then you've got nothing to worry about. If they're biting anyone on this ship, it'll be me. Uh, are you okay, Velvet? Oh, sure. They're just dogs. No, I mean, in general. Fine, they can come aboard. I'll take us back to Titania. We have to take good care of Orthy and Russ. That's on you. They won't let me near. Ah. Uh, yeah, well, what do you expect? You only killed their master. Don't worry. I'll take responsibility. You mustn't! They're quite vicious, you know! I just asked them if they wanted to be friends, and they suddenly bit me! I'm sure you said something to irritate them, like, I'll make you my minions! You had it coming. She... she knows! <laughs> but you have Therians to find, Lafayette. You won't be able to look after them all the time. I suppose... What should I do? You could ask Kamoana and Medissa. Kamoana said she once had a dog. Even if they get a little rowdy, Medissa will be around to keep them safe. That's a good idea! I'll go ask them. Thanks. Creating a little we Arian can't be killing off here. Varians. Besides, they remind me of Nico. Velvet. You want a pet dog, Luffy Set? You should go to the Abbey then! Why the Abbey? Because the place is full of the Shepherd's lap dogs! <laughs> get it? Lap dogs! Yeah, I get it. Ha 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 ha. I devoured them again. No, don't. So, you said your little brother made this copy. He could read the ancient tongue. That's amazing. <laughs> so goofy with the glasses. Luffy was different from most other kids. He read books a lot because his body was so weak. He studied all the time, so that he could be ready to travel the world one day. Which was kind of funny, considering he'd hide in my bed whenever he had a nightmare. Really? But, I don't care that he got scared. I just wanted him to live. That's why I... have to... Velvet! I'll devour as much as it takes. I will have... vengeance. She's Velvet. missing out. Done. The art is attuned to you. 
Thank you. This time I'll make sure to finish what I set out to do. I've got to say, I didn't think you had it in you, Oscar. I don't believe I asked for your opinion. Lord Artorius! Go back outside, Teresa. We'll see you when we're done. Are the rumors true? Are you using that experimental art on Oscar? It is true. I was under the impression it was still incomplete, sir. Yep. There's still a potentially fatal weakness for its channeler. We've taken the theory as far as it will go. The next step is to learn its control and actual practice. Don't tell me you intend to test it against that Therian! Please, let me do it. I should be the one, not him! You are not strong enough. Th then at least let me back him up! So you can take the enemy out before Oscar uses the art? A noble plan, but I'm afraid it'd mess everything up. How so? It was my idea to volunteer, sister. I failed at Titania and allowed the Therian to be stolen from Palamedes. I need to atone for my mistakes. Then let me come with you. I have different orders for you. Teresa Linares, you are hereby relieved of your duties as an exorcist and are to return your Moloch. Huh? Relieved of duty? Why? For our plans to be realized, we require an especially strong Moloch. We've analyzed your Moloch's dormant abilities, and he is of considerable power, on the same level as the young Moloch who betrayed us for the enemy. Simply put, you just don't got what it takes to handle him, sweetheart. This is all over. I'd love to have some of your homemade cooking again, sister. I could go for that quiche you used to make. How can you talk of that right now? Lord Artorius. I know what you're going to ask. Yes, Oscar, when you fulfill your mission, I will make Teresa an exorcist again. Oscar. Are you doing this for... Don't worry about me. I'd go to the ends of the earth and back for a plate of your delicious quiche. Therian? Uh, where am I? Take it easy, Velvet. You've been out for three days. Then that's three days wasted. What's the situation? Well, let's see. For one thing, Grimoire's been deciphering that ancient book. She says that this new copy is complete. All the pages we were missing are there. As for the dogs, Kamawana's taken a real shine to them. All right then. 
Now we just need to find that last Therian. Velvet, no! I said take it easy. Seriously. Oh, hold on. Have you not had anything to eat? Um, well, I just thought, since you hadn't either... Are you serious? Why would you do a full thing like that? You'll die if you don't eat. Actually, I... He won't die if he doesn't eat. Malakim don't actually depend on food for sustenance. If they do eat, it's only as a quirky hobby. All right, if you're sure. If you feel like going hungry, it's your life. But there's no sense in doing it on my account. Huh. <sighs> Good to see you're feeling better again. As you probably noticed, we made it back to Titania already. Sorry to keep you all waiting on me. Get everyone together. We meet now. <sighs> well, that could have gone better. I just... wanted to better understand the hardships Velvet's suffering through. It seems unfair for her to bear all of it alone. Hmm. Well, she's... how can I put it? A very straightforward kind of person. But nothing gets under her skin like a clumsy display of sympathy. What should I do about her then? For now, just get something in your tummy. Any good warrior knows, you eat when you have the chance. Even Malakim have more strength on a full stomach than an empty one, don't they? Yeah. It's true, food will fill an empty stomach. But what is there to fill an empty heart, I wonder? Check the next Earth spot. Head inside. Time for some grub, Laffy Set. What are you hungry for? Hmm. I'll have some stuffed giant squid, or prison crab dumplings, or sea snake bowl. It's your first meal in three days, right? Better stick with something mild, or you'll be sorry. How about a risotto or a vegetable rice soup? That could be nice. I could go for some borscht or shark fin and egg soup for dessert. I'll have a sweet bean and jelly fruit cup, a giant parfait, and a triple berry cake! Zip it, Mogilu. Oh well, I'm getting full just thinking about it. I think I'd like some rice porridge, with a pickled plum and baby sardines on top. Ooh, an austere choice. And an apple. In that case, you should have some apple boo. Apple boo? What on earth is that? It's just grated apples. But when my brother wasn't feeling well, I often fed it to him. So, apple I sauce? think I'd like to try some. If you insist, I'll make some for you. At least it's something I can make without needing to taste it. Okay, I insist. Okay. If you're already making some, I'd like. Zip it, Mogilu! Like applesauce, grated apples. Basically, applesauce. Okay, V. I need you to find us our next Earth Pulse Point. I found one, but it's really, really far. Way up in the northeast. Hmm. If it's that far out, it has to be an Engand. Engand is a collection of small islands. There's a comparatively bigger one called Lionel Island, but that's the exception. Yeah, I think the Earth Pulse Point's probably out there. Engand, huh? Those waters are haunted by ghost ships, you know. Ghost ships? Yep. Legend has it they snatch up wrongdoers who bear lingering regrets and whisk them away to that eternal voyage. That doesn't sound promising. Currents from all over the world converge in Engen's waters, so a lot of shipwrecks from distant seas end up there as their final resting place. Uh-huh. Ah. So that's where the stories of ghost ships come from. Boo, you guys have no imagination. I'd rather they stay imaginary myself. We should still be careful. We'll be fine. Ghost ship, exorcist, whatever comes along. We'll be the ones to administer their last rites. Right, and off to the next spot already, I guess. Set sail for Lionel Island. Okay, so Alright. Let's save this. Watch this first. Just one Therian to go. When I escaped, Ceres told me that Artorias could still be killed. 
That means she must have known everything. That Inominat is incomplete. How Therians work. But why did she betray Artorius? Why did she give me her strength? I know that try as you might, some fires can never fully be extinguished. But what made you go so far as to feed yourself to me? Tell me, why did you do it, sis? Oh, what am I saying? Ceres was a Moloch. Just a Moloch. Just focus on what has to be done. Once the Therians are all together, I can end this. That's all that matters. That's all I need to think about. Alright, now we'll save. So, on to a final Therian in the next part. Stay tuned, and we'll catch you guys later today with that.